With uh, Remembrance Day uh, for Canada, Veterans Day for the States coming up in the next couple days, um, I just want to say uh, thank you to all the soldiers who fought and died in World War I and World War II, and uh, also to all the soldiers who are fighting right now um, in Afghanistan, uh, Canadians that are in Afghanistan. Um, I don't necessarily agree with the war that is currently going on, um, but uh, I do support the troops uh, regardless because they're still out there fighting, um, doing the job that they're supposed to do. Um, which leads me to the issue of the poppy. Um, uh, I've noticed a lot uh, in the last couple of days that um, a lot of Canadians, like on my way to work and and stopping for getting my coffee in the morning and being at work and interacting with the people that come in, the various customers, I've noticed that there are not very many people wearing poppies, um, which is unfortunate, and I am disappointed with uh, the lack of support in that sense. Um, it's, it's a symbol of the first two wars and, and the support and the thanks, the gratitude that we have for our freedoms that we enjoy and take for granted. Uh, my grandfather, uh, who's still alive, and well, um, fought in the Second World War, and uh, so in a sense, I, I wear this for him, and I wear this for his comrades, and I wear this for all the Canadian soldiers that uh, fought, lived, and died in that war. Um, but it's upsetting to me that more Canadians are not wearing poppies. So that's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to express my um, concern about that. It's, it's really kind of disconcerting that more people are not showing their support um, with a simple donation. Uh, you can get them anywhere. Uh, I got mine at uh, my Tim Hortons. And um, yeah, I just want to say thank you to the soldiers who are still alive and, and can hear that thanks and uh, to all the soldiers who died I remember and uh, I'll never forget thank you